Hi, welcome to day 18. This is going to be a kind of a difficult video to make because I'm talking about the Osmo Pocket accessories, my favorite ones that I use most of the time and the ones that I use most of the time are already being used as well because I've got the Osmo Pocket on top of the DSLR. So those are two accessories. One is a kind of a mount that puts it on a GoPro, which is very, very useful. Uh, the other is the official wireless module, which is already there so that I can monitor everything from my mobile phone. And uh, one is something that allows me to take the GoPro mount and gives me a hot shoe mount so that I can have the uh, Osmo Pocket mounted right on top of the DSLR. So I use them, uh, normally I use them to bring them so close together that both lenses, both cameras have lenses together and I can look in the same direction and both of them have the same eye line. Today I'm using it slightly differently so that I am so that I'm more focused into the DSLR and the Osmo Pocket is more focused on the table. Uh, so that's why I can't show you everything, but I'll try to show you everything else that I can. So let's go quickly so that it doesn't drag on. Ah, this is lucky. So this is what I was talking about. This is the thing that lets me take the Osmo Pocket, mount it, and mount it on GoPros. This is an extra copy I bought because I'm going to keep this one in the car because last time I was out and I wanted to shoot something, I forgot this bit at home. So that's, that's one of them I'm using there. And this is the same thing which goes together uh, and then you can put it on a tripod. So I don't use it, I'm using it this one and with the hot shoe mount on there. Okay, I'll try to show you how to mount at the very end, but I am going to use the Osmo Pocket as my insurance. If DSLR malfunctions, it stops midway or loses sound or anything, then I've got that one. Castanets, uh, if you have seen my sound hack video on my main channel, uh, Sunny Goswami. So uh, this I use for uh, making the noise to sync the sound with the video. Otherwise, the, both of these cameras are also recording sound, which I sometimes use just to mark where I am. Rubber bands for times when I want to put the Osmo Pocket on this kind of mount, which is my magnet mount. This is my own creation with the help of my nephew Saga. He's also a vlogger. I'll put his link as well in the description so you can check his work out. Uh, this is really useful for putting this thing on, on fridge, on gates, on metal railings, uh, light poles, telephone poles. You find a lot of places where you can actually put this and then you can step away from the camera a little bit and do um, slightly better vlogging than you would if it was just in your face. So. Those things here, the normal case that the Osmo Pocket comes with. These things I have just received today. So what these do is these are like the GoPro kind of mounts and there are four of them in two sets. So you can take them uh, like this and you can extend them making it longer or you can put them like this so that you get like, a, no, not this one. Mm. Which one was it? Four. Yeah. So let's see. So you could, some of them are, at, yeah, this one is it. So this one will go 90 degrees from that. So you can, you can do extension and you can do angle change, 90 degree angle change with this. I'll show you these with the selfie sticks. They're really, really, really useful. Not very expensive. Mobile holder that came with this selfie stick. I have reviewed this already in another day. And this is really useful. I love this because of the size, because of the light stick. And it's got this uh, mount on here so I can put this, which I was using yesterday, if you have seen yesterday's vlog, uh, for doing that. And because this is long, so I can get a proper frame. Uh, this is quite useful that way. But we'll do something different with this. This is just a case that goes on top of the Osmo Pocket. If you don't, hmm, okay, this is how flimsy it is. So if you don't want to put the Osmo Pocket back in this normal case, what you can do is you can keep everything attached and just put this over the gimbal head. I'm not very sure how secure this is, so I don't use it very often, especially because it goes, yeah, like that. So yeah, 
But let's see what else I've got in this magic. This is new. I'll talk about this later. This is the official Osmo Pocket accessory mount. I use it the least because of one reason that it covers all the buttons and you have to take the connector out. With, with the other one, with this one, you can put everything on there and it just doesn't take much space on the Osmo Pocket face. So didn't mean that to rhyme, it just did. This is something very weird which I've used only once if you have seen the, when I, when I went to see this latest movie Shazam. Uh, I used this a little bit, this is like a light. So it's got three settings off, on and like dim and bright. Um, so I don't know how good this is, but if you are in a situation where it is like absolutely pitch dark and you want to get some good footage, uh, it can make the difference between getting absolutely unusable footage or footage that looks like it's been taken in dark but at least you can use it. So I used it, I put it on there next to the camera uh, in the Shazam episode and then it made me, it helped me change from like uh, 3200 ISO to 800 ISO. So that was quite useful. Uh, I'm planning to use it more and do some pr proper tests with it and see how good it is and how good the footage can be if I'm not outside and not hurried. Normal cable to be used, to extension cable for the connector to use with this because if you might remember, if you can't use the story mode unless you have a cable connected or connected the awesome pocket to the mobile with the connector rather than the wireless. Uh, this is just something that I use for, well, I don't use it. I bought it because you can put the awesome pocket in it and then this becomes more of a secure base uh, to put it on a table or something like that. Uh, but obviously you can't put it with the wireless module connected and wireless module gives you a little bit of a stability in itself. So I have not used it so far, so far because I use the wireless module pretty much all the time. Uh, this is the GoPro three-way arm, which I've talked about in my video. Oh, have I posted that yet? I'm gonna post it today. This is the video that's called Osmo Pocket Problems and Solutions. Uh, and this is a GoPro three-way arm. It's quite useful because it's slightly long, so you can go like that. Uh, and it gives you angles. The best thing that it can do is you can close this and you can have it like this, in which case the Osmo Pocket is here, so it's looking at your face and nobody can see this stick. Uh, and that's the whole goal, so that you don't have the Osmo Pocket the, or the selfie stick in every Osmo Pocket shot that you take. Because the Osmo Pocket is slightly tall itself, so that helps. Uh, but with this kind of stick, I have to actually tilt it. If I have to angle it like this, which reduces the length. So uh, this is quite useful that way. But the, because the length is not a lot, so I don't end up using it a lot, to be honest. But I bought it for GoPro, so yeah. uh, no money lost on that because of Osmo Pocket. Uh, it also has a little bit of a tripod. Just see my other video, Osmo Pocket Problems and Solutions. Um, just a GoPro to tripod mount, no more various GoPro screws, GoPro to tripod mount, another one and yet another one. Oh, this one is quite interesting because it goes to that kind of mount uh, and it gives you a grip slightly further away. So for example, if you have the tripod mount, uh, you can't put it on the tripod because of the space, the mounting plate. So this helps you to get a slightly further away from there and then put it on there. Uh, really, really useful. That's why I bought it. Uh, another thing. So. The newer uh, ND filters, useful. I've used them a few times other than the re review as well. Uh, quite like them. So uh, Gorilla Pod, I used it for a couple of days ago when I was doing that uh, making the tea, making tea Indian style. So that was done with this because it's so small that you can put it in the kitchen anywhere and you can move it around easily. And I must learn to mute my phone before I start doing this. Small case, oops. Need to open it correct way, so yep. So this is the small case for SD cards and SIM cards and things like that. And it's got a, this is why it fell down because I did not put it in correctly. So I will make space for that. Come on, dude. So this has a sticky surface and if you put things there, then it will stick there. And if you open it like that, see, magic trick. So this is good for keeping some extra SD card, micro SD cards with you. Quite nice, quite useful. 
this is the case of my recorder, which is my all-time favorite accessory for all my filming because I can record stuff with this. Uh, this is another case that I recently bought, which is... Uh, you can put the Osmo Pocket in there and then you can have a space for some cards, like you can put eight cards in there. And then there's a small pocket, zippered pocket here. So this recorder actually goes in that pocket and then I can close it all together and I can put the cards in there. The only problem that I have is because this is very, uh, it's form fitting. It, it fits the Osmo Pocket perfectly. So you can't have anything attached to it while you put it in there, which is my problem. I wanted a case where I can put the Osmo Pocket even without taking the wireless module off, for example. So, but it's a nice case otherwise. And it's got this carabiner, so you can hang it off the bed. So I think I'll be using it a little bit when I go out, uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe day after when I do that stories video. Uh, this is the box for, oh, let me talk about this first. So this, because I use two phones. One is the, this is the monitor for the DSLR. This is the monitor for the, uh, Osmo Pocket. So I use this little tablet stand, which is quite nice because you can just have it there and I can have it somewhere outside of the frame, somewhere here, and I can keep looking to see whether it's recording or not. Because sometimes what happens is that DSLR stops recording or Osmo Pocket stops recording on its own. It's like beep, beep, and then gone. The DSLR doesn't even beep when it stops recording. So I, because I need another one for this phone, so I wanted one and I ordered the same one from Amazon, but this one is so much bigger than the first one. So I hate it and I'm gonna send it back. That's done. Uh, this is the box for this. This is a normal selfie stick for mobile. Okay, so how do we go about it? This is the mobile holder for that and then you can pull this out. I don't like that this doesn't have that twist lock kind of thing. Uh, it's just that simple. You can push it, it's, it opens up by a little bit force. A little bit of force. That's it. But it seems to be solid enough that it doesn't collapse on its own uh, either way. So you have to have a little bit of force and then it goes in. So, you know, Newton's second law? Probably. Yeah, I'm thinking of the second law, I think. So uh, this is a, uh, it looks like a good selfie stick. It's a good size. And the best thing about this is, this is the best thing that it fits in this bag. This is the bag that I used it. I bought this long ago before I even bought Osmo Pocket, before the Osmo Pocket had been invented. And I use it just for my like power banks and things like that. But it's quite useful for this kind of stuff because the Osmo Pocket is small, its accessories are small. So I can have a selection of accessories in here, which I will just, I just can just pick up the gadget bag and then go. I think it was called a gadget bag on Amazon. Uh, okay, so talking about this one again. So here the plan is I'm going to take this thing off. I was thinking of putting the Osmo Pocket in there and it does fit in, but then you would have to put it with a, with a rubber band, a couple of rubber bands, and it's not flush with this. And this thing is movable. So I decided not to use that bit. Okay, so again, talking about the same thing that the, with the selfie stick, you need something so that you don't have to lift it up. Okay, so for that reason are these things. So four of these. So what happens is if you can, if you can do it like this, or do it like that, there's a Bollywood song as well, which goes with those words. So I need the other one, uh, that way. Yeah. Screw, I need a screw. Well, we can take one of these. So, oh right, that's why it's doing that because I put the wrong screw in. This one I had to sew. Uh, this is a kind of a problem that it doesn't tighten. Even if you tighten it as much as you can, it still does like that. But I think it might be by design. And it kind of twists like this, which is by design definitely because you can feel the click inside, uh, which is nice if you want to sometimes twist it very quickly to go below. Uh, or you can just hold it like that. 
uh, but this kind of this is to raise it slightly above this and then the awesome pocket on top of this and if the angle is correct I don't have to tilt it down too much and I can just keep talking like this I will do a test with that definitely outside in a couple of days in a day or two probably uh, but other than that this stick itself it seems to be the same weight as this but because this is longer I don't like that so you see how much longer this is so it can finish this here so I can this one goes in this and this one doesn't that's my major difference but what I'm planning to do is I'm going to take this thing off this mobile holder thing and then see if I can put this on here if I can put it on here then I can put the mobile on here which will be quite useful let's see can I do this while the camera is on probably so here we go so does it tighten nope it's too, ooh. Uh, no it's just a little bit too small this is so I have to find a way to do that. Let's see if I can put it on here. Uh, no, this is too thin. So yeah, I wanted to put the mobile here so that I can connect the cable here and then use it for the story mode. Um, how can we do that? Well, I'm a very creative person. I will find a way to either put this on here or find another one like this and then use that to do the mobile holder on here. In that case, then I don't have to hold the mobile like this, uh, which is required for this experiment I'm planning to do. So that's this thing. And then this one has a tripod as well. So if you push it up, there we go. So if you push it up like that, then you have a tripod and you can put the camera on here and this is a very small tripod so it can you know it can fit in small spaces so I could have used this kind of thing in the kitchen the other day okay so that's it I think yep that's all the accessories I had so let me take the other accessories off and I'll show you those as well camera is gonna keep running okay back so so can you see that this is the part that goes into the hot shoe of the camera uh, why don't I take it off and put it on the oh yeah this is the funny thing you have to open it properly mm. shouldn't have put that screw there anyway take this off so that I stop the recording oh no it won't open until I've released this yeah. now it comes off easily so this is the same thing as I showed you before this is the only thing that I could not show you before this is the one which goes on the hot shoe so it's quite useful in the wireless module obviously so these are the things that I'm going to put on here on here uh, not this one just this and the camera Osmo pocket and then shoot that way that's it that's all my stuff that I can show you at the moment uh, I'm planning to buy a couple more accessories which I'll show you in a couple more days and uh, expect a more accept uh, expect some test footage from this selfie stick in a couple of days thank you very much for watching this is day 18 and i'm going to say thank you and please subscribe and i'll see you tomorrow bye